and welcome my Libra friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be my group reading for Valentine's Day. And let's be honest, for Valentine's Day there's only one kind of reading we do, and that's a love reading. Now I'm not going to focus in so much on twin flame or soulmate reading. Rather, I want to check into and embrace this loving energy and how we can really use it to improve existing relationships in our lives, whether they be friendships or romantic relationships, plus being able to increase and amplify the amount of positive loving relationships we have in our lives. Now the decks I'm using for this reading are the Crystal Visions Tarot, the Crystal Unicorn Tarot, and the Angel Inspiration Oracle. And like always, there are links below to all these fantastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright my Libra friends, let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, we've got jumpers. How can my Libra friends embrace the energy of love so that they improve current relationships and add new positive loving relationships into their lives. Okay, number of jumpers there. The first one, the King of Swords. Kings are that fully developed personality of the suit. The Swords about truth and knowledge. The King of Swords cuts through a lot of the crap with his sword of truth and knowledge and really uses it to his advantage so that he is able to make the clearest and most meaningful decision for the greater good. Then we had the Five of Wands. Fives are always a conflictuary number. The Wands about passion and creativity. The Five of Wands talks about this inner battle that we're having between our ego and our higher self. These conflicting passions that are causing uncertainty and a bit of instability for the King of Swords because both aspects ring partially true. Where the lower vibrational self wants to keep you safe, your higher vibrational self wants to see you transform. And there's validity in both cases. So he's caught, caught in the middle, if you will, uncertain to where to wield his sword. Then we have the Magician. The first card in the Major Arcana talks about using your skills and abilities, combining them with the everyday aspects to create amazing pieces, amazing magic in your life. When we follow the high vibrational energy and wisdom, that's when we can create that abundance and those new beginnings that we're looking for. However, at the moment, we have uncertainty with it. We're not too sure where it's going to go next. The King of Pentacles. Like his brother, the King is the fully developed personality. The Pentacle about that growth and abundance. He's also known as the Midas Touch. He is following his brother's suit in that uncertainty raised by that conflict between your ego and your higher self. That uncertainty is causing him not to be able to support you in that manifestation and growth we're looking for. Then we have the Eight of Wands. Eights are about movement and manifestation. Usually it's eight wands descending from the heavens towards you, that universal wisdom and guidance headed your way. Here we have some unicorns. Same idea, you've got that guidance and wisdom 
coming your way. Then we have the Nine of Cups. Nines are about all that you've achieved in your life. Cups about that emotion and intuition. The Nine of Cups talks about the abundance that you've created and manifested in your life. Something that you should be very proud of and very much connected into the Eight of Wands and the Magician because you have been able to use your creativity and your drive to manifest and bring about the abundance that you currently have. And then finally, the Eight of Cups. Like I said before, Eights are about movement and manifestation. Cups about that intuition and emotion. The Eight of Cups talks about that need to go inwards to find the answer. So how we relate this kind of synopsis of all these cards into your relationships is how your ego does not want you to move forward on relationships. Whether the current relationships in your life are for your greater good or are holding you back. That conflict is really impacting your ability to move forward and create positive, meaningful relationships with people who exist in your life right now and ones who are coming forward. You need to kind of debunk and get rid of this conflict. These kings are going to help you do that. Through the use of that truth and knowledge sword and the grounding abilities of the pentacle. When you start to ground and center yourself, you're going to be able to go inwards to gain the information and insight on how to get rid of that lower vibrational restriction, bringing in the ability to create more in your life, to deepen and improve existing relationships, and to attract new ones. Now we do have multiples, so we've got the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. They're the 14th card in the Minor Arcana. In Angel Messages, when you see that multiple 14, it symbolizes a time of love and spiritual growth, that you're attracting what it is you're putting out into your world. Then we also have double eights. In Angel Messages, the angels are telling you with that double eight, you need to stay true to your passions because abundance and prosperity is coming your way. What's holding you back is that ego, that lower vibrational conflict. And it's that conflict that's really causing grief in your life. We need to start to reflect on what is working and what isn't working. Reflect on those relationships. What is balanced and harmonious? And what is life sucking? We all have relationships, whether current or past, where that individual has more power and control over you and you're giving more energy than what you're receiving. So it's not a balanced or a positive relationship. Those pieces, those aspects, those people need to be cut out and the King of Swords can help you. It's just trusting in your abilities and your skills to assess that situation, focus from the head rather than the heart, and making sure that you ground yourself while you're doing this. Because it can be very upsetting when you're starting to assess what's going on in your life. All right, let's see how we can ground and stabilize this a bit more. How can my Libra friends stabilize and incorporate the messages of Valentine's Day into their lives. first card, the chariot. The seventh card in the major arcana, it talks about using your willpower and determination to drive your chariot and 
conquer your next conquest. Your next conquest is this conflict. How your lower vibrational self keeps penning you down, doesn't want you to create and manifest this amazing abundance and positivity in your life because that equates to transformation, that equates to change. Wants you to stay in the village, stay safe in your little box so that it reduces the uncertainty in your life. In a way, trying to protect you from quote unquote harm. Now the chariot talks about balance, using the divine masculine and feminine to create that yin and yang so that you are able to really amplify this abundance because you need masculine and feminine to create in your life. Then we have the world. The 21st card in the Major Arcana and it talks about endings and beginnings. Celebrating all that you've achieved in your life taking that moment of pause and reflection and getting excited for that new, for that next stage. The world talks about really standing in your power and using it to your advantage. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Similar to the Nine of Cups, this talks about all that you've achieved and created in your life. That abundance, that hard work, connects into the King of Pentacles with that growth and abundance. The Nine of Pentacles encourages you to move forward because forward brings more abundance. Living backwards or in that safe box that your ego has you in limits your possibilities for creating and nurturing the relationships that you currently have and possibly will have in your life. Now we do have double nines, the pentacles and the cups. In angel messages, when you've got that double nine, the angels are telling you that this is a time to work on your life's purpose, that soul's deeper purpose. And it's that purpose that is going to bring about some amazing relationships and connections within your life. Let's see what the angels have to add. What further guidance and wisdom can you share with my Libra friends regarding the messages of Valentine's Day? Okay, the first jumper. Be content. Connects in with both those nines regarding being content and happy with what it is you've created in your life. Knowing that yes, you're not at the end of that road. You have more abundance and more amazing aspects to achieve and to embrace. But when you start to be content and happy with what it is you have, you start to raise your vibration, which connects you more into the Midas touch, which brings about that abundance piece and amplifying it even more. Forgiveness. It's one of the hardest lessons we're here to learn about. Forgiving ourselves for our role that we've played in past experiences that have really brought about that ego's wrath, if you will forgiving others for their role in events and situations that have caused the ego to have such a tight grip on you. When we start to forgive and be content and be happy with who it is we are and where it is we are in our journey, that's when things start to shift. then embrace change. We need to be able to embrace the world and that shift to embrace that amazing abundance, 
to embrace people who may not have been somebody that we connected in with before. Giving them some time and energy so they can help with your understanding of who you are. People are brought to us through divine intervention so that we are able to grow and understand things on a different level. And it's that different level that's really going to add to that abundance piece. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. I hope that you found this video fun and helpful and you're able to gain some direction and insight into Valentine's Day and what this amazing loving energy can help and hold for you. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. I have so many more new and exciting videos coming your way. The best way to stay connected is through subscribing to my channel and hitting that little red bell so you don't miss any of the wisdom and healing that my videos offer. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings and healings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Libra friends.